everyone welcome back to another video of trailhead explanation in this video we are going to cover unit create smartwatch attributes for size and ascent now this unit is part of project personalized smartwatches with salesforce cpq attribute this is the second unit now as part of this uh, unit's challenge what we are going to do is we are going to create create configure attributes by the name size and accent so how we can do that let's quickly jump onto the process and and as we move further we'll get clarity on what actually is happening in this challenge so let's quickly launch our trailhead playground which i've already done then as part of this challenge the very first step that we have to do is we have to create two fields first uh, by the name size and the other one by the name accent. Both of these fields will be of type picklist whose values are given over here, 40 mm and 44 mm for the size field and light gray, dark gray, gold values for accent field. Both of these fields will be on product option object. So let's quickly go to our trailhead account, uh, playground and go to object manager. Now here we have to go to quick find and search for product option. There it is. Go to fields and relationship. Click on new. For the data type, I'm going to select pick list. Click on next. Label, we have to give size as per our challenge. Values that we are going to enter here. So uh, instead of global pick list value set, we have to select the second uh, radio button. And values, I'm going to simply copy it from here and paste this in this text box uh, area. Make sure there are no extra spaces uh, between these values. Otherwise, you might get errors at the time of checking the challenge. Make sure you select this checkbox, use first value as default value, then click on next. I think we have to make them as required. No. All right, let's just click on next, uh, click on next again. Uh, rest will remain as it is, just click on save and new. Now the next field that we are going to create is accent. Uh, this again will be on product option. Data type will be pick list. Click on next. In the field label, just paste the accent. Make sure you do not copy any extra spaces or full stop or any other thing, just accent. It has to be uh, this way. Then uh, for the values, I'm going to copy it again from this challenge and paste this in the text box, text box area. Make sure there are no extra spaces. Select this checkbox, use first value as default type and click on next. Click on next again and click on save. So this was uh, the creation of fields on product option. Now the next is we have to go to configure attribute and there on the field target field, we have to add these two fields which we just created the api name of these two fields into the uh, target field pick list values so let's go to object manager again and here we will go to configure search for configure select this configure attribute go to fields and relationship quick find target that is this target field. This is a pick list type of field. Now we have to go to scroll to bottom and there are already three values present. We have to add two more. So I'm going to copy this from here itself. So these are the API name of the fields that we just created on product option uh, object. So click on new, paste this over here. And we are going to select both of these record types. So these are the record types. If you remember in the last video or in the previous unit of this project, we enabled these two record types for our profile system admin. That's the reason why we are able to see these two record types over here. Click on save. 
So these uh, values, picklist value, which we just added size and accent will be available for both of the record types, uh, configure and global attribute. That's all uh, these two API names have been added over here. Now, the third thing that we have to do is we have to create configure attribute record. So as part of this uh, challenge pro uh, uh, project unit challenge, we have to configure the smartwatch product. So I will just go to app launch here. I'm sorry. Just go to Salesforce CPQ. Um, application now here we have to go to let's see we have to go to products click on product tab right now we are in recently viewed select all products and here in the quick find just type smart watch click enter so there it is this product smart watch now here we have to create configure attribute so it it this is a related list so there we are going to create a new configure attribute record and the attribute name we are going to give as size go to related list over here and if you scroll down there is this configure attributes click on new before record type we are going to select configure attribute only click on next Attribute name, I'm going to give out size. Now here this uh, target field specify that whatever value that we are going to select over here uh, in this target field. Here we have selected the size API name. So it is going to fetch the values of this picklist field size and show it over the product configuration page. So this is simply this API name here in this field specify that which field value it has to take from product option. If you will notice over here, there is this help tech or uh, help text also specify field on product option that will hold this attributes value. So it is going to specify the field size on product option that will hold this attributes value. That's the basic concept of target field. And here we are selecting size. So it is going to show me the values that we have put out on the size pick list uh, field, which was 40 mm and 44 mm. So that's what target field is going to. We have to select this required as well. And row order, this simply will specify the order in which this ad these attributes are going to display on the product configuration screen. And uh, that's all you have to do. Just click on save. Now, the next is we have to create another configure attribute for our accent. So let's just go back again and click on new. Again, configure attribute configuration attribute is the record type that we are selecting over here. Attribute name has to the accent. Target field, we are selecting uh, accent. So this is uh, this tells CPQ that you have to go to product option object and search for the field which has API name as ascent underscore C and grab all the values that are associated to that pick list field. So uh, in our case, we have specified three values to ascent field, which was dark gray, light gray, and gold. And those three values, so it simply grab those values and will be displaying on the product configuration screen, which we will be seeing in a while. One more thing I'd like to add over here is that whatever name over here we are giving in the attribute name text area doesn't uh, conclude the name we are going to see on the product configuration screen at the time of creating the code. But it is going to take the label and the value based on whatever API name that we are going to give out in this target field. You can see this as well uh, in the challenge that the attribute name isn't really important since user will use the field label of the field you created on the product option object. So this doesn't matter really much. So this is what a target field and attribute name concept that I wanted to point out. Okay, this again has to be required order. We are going to, let's say it's 20 
I want this to be displayed below the size configuration attribute. Just click on save. Next thing is we have to now see this in action. So for that, we have to go to code. So let's go to codes and the code that we have to select over here is 0045. So I will just copy this and go back to this quick find. Enter. So this is the co uh, code for which we have to configure. Once it is loaded, uh, just click on edit lines. Now here we have to select search for smartwatch product. So let's go back. So first time it takes a little bit of time to load, but otherwise it is quickly loaded after the first time. So just click on add products. Right now we do not have any product associated to this code 0045. Now here I'm going to search for smartwatch. There it is. Select this, click on select. Now this is the product configuration screen and here these two options are coming. The, these two options are the uh, are visible over here because we created a two configuration attribute by the name size and accent and the value it is showing over here 4044 is because we have specified the API name on the target field conf uh, of the configuration attribute. So if you will, rem if you remember, I'll just open this up on the new tab, the product for which we just created the configuration attribute. So how this knows that we, it has to display these uh, field value because we have created configuration attribute, two attributes, size and accent. And in the target field, we have mentioned that there is this field on the product option, which has API name size, grab those values from there and display it over here. So that's how it is fetching the values, uh, which field it has to take from. So this is the whole concept of configuration attribute. So let's just click on save. So that's all uh, we have to just, even uh, it was not required to save the code. It was just for the visibility that this is how the configuration attribute will show up if we set them. There is uh, nothing mentioned about the step in order to save the code. So that's not a mandatory uh, and this is not part of this challenge. So that was all we have to do as part of this challenge. And before moving on to check challenge, I want to specify that every time or any time you want to create configuration attribute, there are three major steps that you have to follow every time. So like that, we went for the size and accent. You have to first of all, create the field on the product option. Then you have to specify the API name of those field you created on product option. Uh, you have to specify the API name on the configuration attribute object target field. And then you have to create the configuration attribute record on the product bundle. These are the three steps that you must go through in order to create configuration attribute. So that was all about this uh, video and this challenge. Just click on this button to see whether we have passed this uh, unit challenge or not. There you go, this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care, thank you so much.